All right, so been doing a little work on the car here. Um, been working on this charge pop a little bit. As you saw before, I had the uh, pipe cut down for the mass for the math here. So far, things like it's been pretty good. Other than uh, touching the fender here. So, upon what I have to do is just pop cut a little bit off right there. Not much. How about a half inch? So, should do it. Yeah, I got the power steering in. Kind of got it just bolted up a little bit. I don't know if I mentioned or not. I already pulled the alternator. So I can work on this turbo a little bit more. Um, kind of just mocking things up here. Uh, got the down pop in. Uh, that's about it, really. Um, everything all bolted up here. Still need to make the uh, the pieces for the air cooler. What you got there on the vise. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is pull this charge pop off and cut a little bit off, about a half inch. Should be plenty. What I'm gonna do, get the fit and uh, put a flare on it, keep it from popping off. Probably order a few more of these clamps. So like I said, because I, I put this map in, kind of shortened me a couple clamps. But I search around, get some, because I'm going to need them from up there. Need at least two up there. And I'm going to need one more for right there, top end of that coupler. So I really like I really like getting them on before I put this front uh, front bumper cover back on because it's gonna be a pain in the ass to get to if uh, one of these uh, hose clamps inside the brake. Uh, but that's other than that, that's it right now. I'm just gonna start it on cutting down its charge pipe and hopefully it fit. You can tell it's got that little. I don't know if you can tell by the camera or not. It's got a little curve to it. So I think once I get cut about a half inch off that pop, everything be nice and straight. All right, so we got all the uh, charge pipe in. Got pretty much everything tightened down, except for uh, a couple clamps. Got to be up here. Pretty much clamped down. Everything looks pretty good. Uh, kind of worked on some um, some straps just to hold this intercooler up. Stuff them crazy, just eighth inch steel. Got me two pieces made, and I just gotta make some for the bottom. That's pretty much what I got all going tonight. Uh, another thing I have to do is um, I have to dig around online or something to make a, a extension like a plug in because it doesn't, doesn't quite reach. So I don't know. We don't want to start splicing the wires. Even though it's only four wires, we really don't want to chop it off and add wiring to it. But I don't have to. Getting closer, getting closer. So hopefully maybe a couple of the, maybe a couple more weekends, maybe sooner. Who knows? We'll see. You know, I don't think I showed this yet. 
Yeah, it hits a little bit, but uh, uh, the fender's got to come out anyways. It doesn't hit anymore. But I did chop off a little bit, about a half inch off this pipe. You can tell it's a lot straighter. So it looks pretty good there. Just gotta make sure the inner cooler is nice and level. Uh, it's pretty, pretty damn close where it's at now. Well, I think this inner cooler be lying in the middle of the radiator, but it doesn't. And after there's a wiggling around with this piping here, all the way across and. There's really no uh, room. I mean, it'll go over uh, this way a little bit, but it ain't much. Might might get about a half inch, which will get a little bit more clearance over there. But other than that, everything else is pretty much fitting pretty good. And uh, like I said, I'm just gonna call it a night. And hopefully get back after maybe tomorrow. Get those straps on. And uh, go from there. So, alright guys. I'll see y'all later.